Hi all, and welcome back to the channel. I know, here I am, and it has been a hot minute since I have posted anything. And I'm sorry, I am going to do better this year. I am going to post more this year, both here on YouTube and on my Instagram account. I digress. I'm not going to do some crazy long intro because nobody likes those anyway. I do want to cover a few things. Yes, I am in my new studio. As you can see, I have some paint splotches on the back wall and a tape line for where my couch, sofa, whatever you want to call it, is going to go just because I wasn't sure that I would like how big that is. And I plan on also doing like a studio vlog so you guys can see how this room came together in our new house and what I chose to do for shelving, etc. Anyway, the whole purpose of this video today is to do this sketchbook tour. Now, I started this sketchbook in May of 21, and I actually technically finished this May of 23, and I have now filmed this video three times. And editing videos, once you get out of the process and the practice of editing them, it's hard. So we're going to film this. This will be the fourth time I have filmed this video. And this is the one that is going to get uploaded because I've wanted to share this for a while. The first section of this sketchbook tour is actually already on my YouTube. I will make sure to link that. It's when I did the 100 drawing prompts. So I will probably go through those sketches a little bit quicker just because you've already heard it once. Um, but yeah, I am so excited for you guys to see this. I will change camera view to down and let's get started. All right, here we are. So before I jump in, I just thought I'd go over what this sketchbook is. It is an Illo sketchbook, size large, square, and it is an eight by eight. Uh, I do love these little uh, ribbon style bookmarks. I feel like they're really helpful when you're working through a sketchbook just because you can easily flip to the page you want. Not necessary, but I do really like when those are included. Here's my opening spread. It says desire to inspire, which is actually something that I had put at the beginning of a lot of my sketchbooks. So I did it here too, and then just played around with typography and made some funky different letters. And um, this was done using alcohol markers and some microns. And then right here at the beginning is the 100 drawing prompts. I do have this listed out on Instagram if you decided you wanted to go through them. But these uh, first, first quarter of this is just working through those 100 drawing prompts, which I found to be super helpful. Um, at the time, I had been struggling with art block and wanted to really get back into drawing and even looking through like these hand drawings I feel like my ability to draw hands has gotten a lot better now that I've been practicing consistently I love the way this one turned out I mean I'm super happy with this as well but there's just something great about that one uh, it was a blue moji pen which are to this day still one of my favorite supplies And working through a Medusa head, I had found that out on Pinterest and it was a sculpture and I was just very drawn to it. And then I actually have this bottle here in my studio. It is a vintage bottle and I love it. It's <laughs> shaped like a fish. Who doesn't love that? And then I did some splotching of my Faber-Castell Polychromos. I had wanted this art supply for years and just couldn't justify buying it. And finally I saved up and bought it. And so I just wanted to see how that responded to this paper. And then I also have uh, a Ahuhu color splotch here. And this was my first time buying a Ahuhu. I had seen a ton of different videos on how much people liked those alcohol markers and finally decided to start out with the uh, 200 dual tip markers and so wanted once again to be able to see what that color range 
look like on the paper um, that I was using in the sketchbook and then also to be able to see if it was going to bleed through. Now you can't tell that it bleed, bled through because of the fact that <laughs> I taped these in. But anyway, and then I had also bought the Arteza gouache colors, which is what had been used previously, like back on one of those very first spreads. And so I just wanted to have those as a nice reference so that way I didn't necessarily have to reference the box just because I feel like uh, the colors on the outside certainly look different than the actual colors on the inside. And I do want to switch back to this. So I know you see that the binding's breaking here a little bit. I don't want that to say that I like I don't want that to be a bad thing against this sketchbook. This sketchbook has been through the ringer, not to mention that it was packed in a box to move to our new house. And so yeah, it it's it's been through some stuff. The 100 drawing prompts for me was huge. Oh my gosh. Little and big. I think it's little versus big. Hold on, let's see if I can figure it out. Oh man, I don't remember. I want to say that it's like little versus big. So little spider, big shadow. I love that. I have not opened this in a while, actually, since I <laughs> made the last video that I said it was going to be the last time I filmed it. Anywho, <laughs> pleasant surprise. And then this was done using some gouache. Uh, I always like to try and reference and give credit where credit's due. And this was a photo that I had found out on Unsplash. So that was the inspiration behind that one. And then my hand holding a dash coffee. I can't remember if that's while I was there or when I got home. Dash coffee is one of my favorite coffee places. Oh, yes. I remember this just because I know it's the front of one of my videos, but I love this drawing, like love it. I decided to draw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in front of Lincoln Wine Bar, which is a pizza place that is not, well, pizza and wine that is not far from my house. And I have always loved their wood-fired pizzas. And so I just had April and the guys out protecting Lincoln Wine Bar. <laughs> And I wanted to have April in like a more modern outfit. And so we put her in a jumper and she has her iPhone. And <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Just an interesting outfit choice, but I love it. And then just drawing random cartoons from my childhood. And I did that with alcohol markers. Ah, real monsters. So good. And then I believe I actually have a video on this as well. This is the first real drawing that I had done with my uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos and naturally a donut. If you know me well, I love donuts. I mean, I love a lot of food, but donuts will always have a special place in my heart. Not sprinkles, but I still love it. And then this was a scone that I had done want to say on a coffee date I just did it quick man where was I I think I was at Stillwater Cafe pretty sure I don't know maybe I say in my last video <laughs> and then this is a Tom Holland drawing I had done this uh, as part of a sketching video that Sketching Greyhound another YouTuber had done and everybody drew Tom Holland and so just drew along and that was super fun and then I did a this is a gouache painting of Frida Kahlo and I did this while sitting in my camper while my kids slept if I remember correctly I would have to reference the like short video that I made in reference to that but super happy with how that turned out um, as you can tell, this was paper that was done and then just pasted in. This isn't actually on that paper. This does happen throughout the sketchbook just because there was a bit of bleed through depending upon the material I was using. And then I 
to this day still want to redo this. I'd love to do this in like a bigger scale or like in a uh, sticker variety. I think that'd make a super fun sticker. And then just, I think I was getting close to the end of my drawing prompts. So, or maybe I'm like midway through at this point because I feel like I included a bunch of stuff. Like there's a dragon, there's a castle. Um, I'm not um, a baboon, <laughs> a monkey, a boxing monkey maybe, a gnome um, and a bridge. I think those are some eggs. <laughs> It's amazing what you see in your drawings when you look back through. Ooh, my Raggedy Ann. Uh, this is a ballpoint, like a Bic pen drawing. I love Bic pens. I know that's not like actually a drawing supply, but I love these cheap uh, office supply. I love the way it draws. I feel like you don't get like globs of ink you can make really fine lines or really dark lines. That's very versatile. Anyway, and then I did Stranger Things and I love the way that this turned out. Super happy with just everything about it, honestly. I, I think that's a super successful page in my sketchbook. That is something I'm super proud to show. I can't say the same thing for everything that you're gonna see in this sketchbook, but I love that. <laughs> oh, I have a T-Rex playing a banjo with some lollipops, a telescope, a drink on some books. He has some SPF and a llama. I remember because I think in my last video um, I was going through some really bad insomnia and the next morning after I showed my husband this drawing which is a unicorn wearing <laughs> a unicorn wearing a zebra mask riding a bike through town late at night he's like uh i think that you need to try and sleep more because that's just weird but you know <laughs> i'm glad i can laugh about it now i feel like that anatomy's a bit strange. Um, there, I mean, not that it's okay that it's a unicorn wearing a zebra mask um, that has unicorn hair or <laughs> rainbow hair. Anywho, uh, great drawing. Way to go, Rachel. Ooh, a Walkman. A Walkman with a uh, tape that says escape. Hmm. Some boots also done in that Bic pen. A Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I think this is fun. I am curious to see what else is in this sketchbook because I forgot about a lot of these drawings until I started working through this. Um, so an Rubik's Cube that is being built by these people. Um, <laughs> go team. And then I think these were shrimp tacos. I'm pretty sure that those are shrimp tacos, which sound delicious. Sadly, I'm allergic to shrimp. Ooh, and some furniture. I want to say that that is... Ooh, if I had to guess, I would say it's a color erase pencil, but I'm not sure. And then this video is also out on YouTube. This was using those Faber-Castell Polychromos, I believe, again. Mm, maybe. Or maybe those are Prismacolors. I'm going to say that they're Prismacolors because Prismacolors are my like go-to pencil. They have been since, I don't know, middle school. Still love this drawing. I plan to do more of those in the future. I love the hyper-realism and just love the way that turned out. <laughs> Wait, hi. Okay, before we get to that, I think I had to do toothbrushes as one of my prompts. So this was just like a quick, uh, what, what is the word I'm looking for? Gouache, <laughs> a quick gouache painting. And then I decided to do Wade High School class of 2021, which my youngest son's name is Wade. And for those that don't know, his nickname is Wade O Potato. 
And so I made a high school class of potatoes. <laughs> so you have wedge, mashed, baked, tot, spud, chips, uh, hash brown, fries, waffle fry from Chick-fil-A, because yum, and curly fry. I'm pretty sure I have all of those right. I don't know. You can check my last video and double check if I said something different. I still love this page. Um, probably one of my all-time favorite pages that I've ever done. But <laughs> yeah, Wade High School Class of 2021. And then I did some frogs. I, I think this is watercolor. It might be gouache but watercolor of some frogs. I believe that this is actually my cousin Bethany's and then I had used references for the other two just to have like a cute little family of frogs. And this was a plain air painting that I had done out on site at, where was this? Why can't I think of the name of that? It was hot, like hotter than sin out. This is like a boat ramp area. They have all these beautiful flowers. And then here's the lake. And then our camper is like way over here. And I got all the way over here and realized I didn't take water with. So that's why the whole page is not done because I had my water in my cup for my, <laughs> the watercolors, but I didn't bring like water to consume. And so I gave up. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, this is done using one of those like multicolor pens where you can like shove all the colors down at once. I know that doesn't make sense unless you've <laughs> used one. Um, but this was getting close to the end because I think this was my last drawing in the drawing prompts. Uh, but it is a robot with a brain making some muffins, I believe, uh, and carrying a tray of coffee. Man, what a strange drawing. And then here is our family as bobbleheads. So myself, Shane, Wesley, Wade. I love the three of us. Wade looks a little weird. Um, proportions, neck placement, head placement, etc. But he is always looking up to his brother to figure out how he should be responding. And I think the day that I'd done that reference photo, he was just enjoying, oh, they both are enjoying suckers. All right. And yet another image of Dash. I think this was one day where I decided to obviously go in and eat, which uh, was not very often because I would oftentimes grab stuff and head home instead. So I didn't know what to draw. So I just drew their front desk. And then Pine Hill Farm is one of my favorite places to be able to get flowers from. And so I was just playing around with some Faber-Castell polychromos and um, one of the floral images that they had had out on their page, which then translated into me making uh, little flowers with babies, <laughs> which I think are cute and adorable, but I digress. Ooh, I don't know if I'll show all of this. So that's, those are really just notes. Um, you don't need to see all my notes. Uh, this image here is one that I had done a uh, tutorial for on YouTube. I'll make sure I link all of the ones that I've done videos for so you guys can easily reference those. Uh, I had a ton of fun doing this. I have had a lot of requests to do more tutorials and I plan on adding more of those this year. Oh yeah, my Christmas nails. Also another video, um, I used to do, well, I still do, but I used to on a much more frequent basis prior to kids do fun nail designs. And so I had drawn out a bunch of different nail designs and painted those onto nails. And those were my Christmas nails. And I think I actually used yeah, I think those are all the ones I used. Anywho, cute video, not in relation to, you know, anything in a sketchbook, but you guys can see me working through different ideas before I actually put them on nails. And then, oh, 
I, uh, one of my favorite channels to watch on YouTube is Drawing with Waffles and she does some great character designs and that is something I am very intrigued by just because it's not something that I've ever really done. And so this was me trying my hand at character design. Um, I don't feel super comfortable with it, but I still enjoy it and I still like pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, so this is just more character design. I had started another sketchbook that just has my character design in it just because I, I don't know, I'm not as comfortable with it. And so having it separate from like my main sketchbook just made more sense. So I'd been working through different ideas because I wanted to uh, do a New Year's Eve outfit for 2022. And I think this outfit is the only ones, I think that's the only one that actually made it into that video. That did end up being a video. I cringe when I look at that video just because I don't feel it's super successful, but I feel like we are all our own worst critics. And that's the whole point of a sketchbook. It's to push yourself. It's to figure out what works good for you and what you're comfortable with or what you like and what you don't like so that that way you can learn. Because making mistakes, I think, is the best way to learn. If everything were always successful, what are you learning from that? Nothing. All right. And surprise, surprise, another image from Dash with a Cortado, which is one of my favorite drink options. I love it, especially when they have like the little chocolate covered espresso bean, mm, yum. Um, but just drawing on location at Dash, which I guess I did a lot in this sketchbook because that is not something, it was always a joke when I would go grab food and they're like, oh, you're eating here. And then two pages that I'm, probably not as happy with. I honestly hate this page, um, being 100% honest. I think it was a fun idea. Um, at the time, I wasn't really like vibing on art. And there's just a lot here that I'm not happy with. But that's the whole point of a sketchbook, figuring out what you like and what you don't like. This page, however, I love. I love the way the lemons turned out, the uh, little lemon slices, the color variation between the back and the leaves and the texture of the lemon, which is there through the brush marks, but not like super crazy realistic. I mean, you know they're lemons, but you're not seeing like every little uh, ridge of the, the bumpy texture. Anyway, I totally love this one. And I totally, totally love this one. I, there are things that I would love to do a little bit differently on this, but I love the simplification of the fact that this is just a ton of strawberries with a purple background. And yeah, it's fun. And I enjoyed painting it. So at the time, that's all I really cared about. So also done in gouache and I think this was my like big gouache set that I had thought I lost and then I found it when I was moving after I'd already bought a new one. Yeah, anywho. And then more notes and a hand drawing done in um, just normal graphite. Looks like a, a B pencil of some sort. <laughs> Ooh. And then doing a little typography of growth. And this was just because I was trying to not be so hard on myself and just push through and just try and keep creating because sometimes that's just what it takes to be able to push past art block. And then there are things I like about this page and things I don't like about this page. Um, yeah, it's back to just being a learning process. So this is also done in that gouache and just started out with like random blobs that I thought I was going to turn into something else. And then I created the pattern over top of it. 
I might try it again and use different colors. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of the colors used, but it looks funky. I'll give it that. <laughs> oh, perfect. Um, speaking of art block, in June, I had decided, and I believe this was June of, well, it had to be 22 because I finished this in 23. So June of 22, I was like, hey, the 100 drawing prompts, that really got me out of my art block. I'll be able to do this and it'll get me out of my art block. Love the idea. I want to do this again as far as for like actually finishing that. And the reason why I say that is because I did, what, four of those and it didn't help. So I did Troll, which sure, it's an okay drawing. It was done with uh, colored pencils of some sort. I don't remember exactly what, but like Troll, Little Troll House. Uh, troll riding a mouse that's <laughs> being led on by cheese in a, a beautiful mountainscape and a lake. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm indifferent on it. And then I did this jellyfish, which kind of same thing. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I do love the like full color and then the outside is black and white and that the instead of the jellyfish ending on the side that it continued. I love that. I'd love to redo it. I'm just not in love with this particular piece. Uh, this one I think is what I did for rainbow and I love this. I know it's very basic, but it was so, so satisfying to work through. It's just blobs, blobs of different colors with some dots and it was easy, but it was fun. And I look at it and it just brings me joy. Like I love color explosions. And so to have a page that is just nothing, but also something great. And then, ooh, the bugs. I love like beetles and I find them to be very interesting. So I just did some drawings. I believe this is just in a blue Bic of different beetles and shapes and some ladybugs. Uh, I had a ton of fun working through this. And then I decided to switch art supplies to, I think these are like Crayola <laughs> markers that my kids were using to draw some keys. I wanna say that that was a, yep, keys. I don't like this drawing. Um, this, I didn't have to push myself. This was me like, come on. I think at that point I was pretty far into June and I hadn't really done any of the drawing prompts. And yeah, that page. Um, it doesn't even look like something I drew. Anywho. And then I did these flowers, which are also very basic, but I do enjoy them. Um, just as a reference point earlier, you had seen me adding in pages. Here's an example of that uh, ghosting onto the back of another page when there isn't something added. I don't have a huge issue with this. It just depends on how I'm using a sketchbook on if I'm planning to draw both sides or on just one side of a, like one page. Uh, I kind of switch from sketchbook to sketchbook on whether I draw on both sides or just one side. I think that should be up to you. You shouldn't have to fill both sides. It's your sketchbook, do what you want. And then I wanna say this is also based on a prompt. Maybe pencil, yes, pencil, pencil and paint. Cause it's a painting of a pencil. This is kind of painful <laughs> just to look at just because of the fact that I'm still just, it doesn't feel like me, but this is why the June drawing prompts was not successful for me. And then a drawing of some hands. I really love the way this one turned out done in charcoal or some type of charcoal pencil. I, yeah, I don't know what one I like more. Ah, no, over there. <laughs> oh, I love the next pages. Okay color explosion. 
I am obsessed. I <laughs> love these. I don't remember what prompted me to wanting to do these, but I just picked like a couple random colors and I started over here and then just like added and kept drawing and I love these. I had thought about going back and lining them, like outlining them with a micron pen or something along those lines. And I was so worried that I was going to somehow ruin these pages that I didn't do it. I'm tempted to like scan this into my iPad and outline them and see if I like it before I actually do it on the page. But I love this page, like this whole spread. All of it's fantastic. If you asked me what my favorite one, I really like this turtle. I like that, I believe that's called a lionfish or something along those lines, a lionfish-esque. And then the puffer fish. Those are probably my top three. I loved this so much that I did it on the next set too. And still obsessed. I love these more, but these also really great. I love the color variety of having just kind of more pastel-y. pastel -y colors aren't normally my cup of tea, but I just love. Like, wouldn't these be like the cutest little stickers to just put all over like a water bottle? I know. I'm going to do it. I keep telling myself I'm going to do it. I should. Anywho, I love <laughs> these fish. And then I just going back to knowing that there is, I like how I put leave, like don't draw on this page, you're leaving it for a reason. So just wanting to be able to show that it does not necessarily bleed through all the way, but you do see that ghosting of the alcohol markers through the page. I just wanted to be able to reference that so people could see it. So they knew how well this paper responds to alcohol markers. I would say that's pretty good. It's not like it bled through onto this other page. So that's something at least. And then this is an eraser. Do I have it right here? Oh, I do. Okay. For really big mistakes. Uh, I have had this eraser for a long time and I feel like it, even though it gets used, it hasn't really changed shape. So I thought, why not? Add it to the sketchbook and then it'll live forever. I forgot about the fish. I love this page. This was done using alcohol markers outlined in, I want to say it's red emoji pen. Um, and then I like to add some of these lighter colors in. I went in and added some gouache. I am obsessed with this page. I love that. Like, love it. And I don't remember why I wanted to do it. I don't know. I had thought about filling the whole page, but then I kind of liked the negative space of where there wasn't fish. What a great page. Way to go, Rachel, man. You know, that's why these sketchbook tours are nice because I forget what I put in them. And then it's a pleasant surprise. Anywho. And <laughs> this drawing here is a orchid, obviously. I have it upstairs. It does not have blooms on it, um, but that was just done drawing with, I believe a, it's either a micron or a moji pen. One of the two. And then practicing some eyes just with like a blue, I want to say that this is a Faber-Castell polychromo. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. But just playing around with eyes, um, Obviously, you can tell both in my passion talking about the last few spreads and just looking at it. This looks more me. I was obviously having a lot more fun drawing, even though I didn't have a successful drawing prompts. I was back into drawing. And then just some portraits with the, uh, I want to say just a red Faber-Castell polychromo. And I... I really like those. I think if I had to pick a favorite, I love the smirk, like just the, I love the side smirk. And then I do not 
like that face at all. So we're just gonna cover it up. I should have put like a post-it note over it, but anywho. And then these ones over here, um, I like to periodically choose different shapes. So I like to draw a face and then I like having my kids pick out shapes. So like a circle, a square, a triangle. And then you have to reposition somebody's facial structures to like better match that. And so that's what's going on here. That was the original one. I planned on doing four and then I did the two and then I was over it. So I didn't keep going. <laughs> and then this was just playing around with uh, like Zentangle style drawings. I actually do these a lot. Uh, not so much in this sketchbook, but I will do these on like the edges of paper. They're just therapeutic and easy and you kind of just, I don't even remember where I started for this one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know that I can pick where I, maybe I started with the little flowers and then just work this one and then expand it out further. I did, yeah, replicating designs over and over and just kind of creating some kind of pattern and going till you feel like it's done. Ooh. And then for our final page. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm not that funny. I don't really care, I guess, if you think I'm funny or not, because I think this is hilarious. Uh, this is... <laughs> And this is probably not an alligator. My luck, it's a crocodile. I don't know what the difference is either way. See you later, alligator. <laughs> done uh, with alcohol markers, like the body of the alligator is done with uh, alcohol markers. And then I went back in with some gouache and added some additional water ripples around. And then I just put that I had started this in May of 2021 and finished May of 2023. And yeah, that is the whole sketchbook. I love it. I, yeah, it's, it's a lot, but there's so many different versatile things in here as far as for different stages I was going through, different times of art block. I love all the supplies I used. I, I try to branch out and keep trying different supplies and trying different techniques and figuring out what best fits my needs. Woohoo! We made it through the sketchbook. Um, this is the last time I'm videoing it. This is going to be the video that is posted on YouTube. Yes, I will leave this in here because I want to be more authentic and this is me. I am just awkward sometimes. Uh, the video will be a little bit, a little bit, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna leave that too, cause <laughs> why not? Um, the video will probably be a little bit longer. I definitely talked about the beginning uh, sketches a bit more, even though there's already a video on it. But it was so fun looking back through this and remembering working through some of these drawings, working through those drawing prompts yeah, if you're ever having a bad day, just look through your sketchbook. I mean, you're not going to love everything in there. Anybody who does love everything in their sketchbook, I feel like it's a little too curated then because part of your sketchbook is figuring out what you like and what you don't like. So if you love everything, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm envious of, no, I'm not envious actually. I like not liking everything in my sketchbook. Anywho, <laughs> I digress. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are still here with me while I blunder on and on, please consider leaving a like or clicking subscribe. And at the very least, I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. See you again soon. Thank you.